One family says uh, their home being badly damaged by blasts like the one you just saw right there. They say their neighbor setting off Tannerite and it's causing cracks and other structural damage to their house. The explosive is legal in Tennessee. Sam Luther joins us now with their story and shows us how the powerful Tannerite, uh, how powerful Tannerite can be. Back Sam. In September of last year during a baby gender reveal, one neighbor using Tannerite, another with a damaged home. Independently of each other, they're perfectly safe. But when you put the two together, you get the exploding target called Tannerite, something Steve Langley says his neighbor first used during a gender reveal in September of 2018. Well, I had hoped it would be a one time occurrence. Langley says his neighbor Thomas Peterzinski used Tannerite again on July 4th, saying it's well within his right to do so. When a Tannerite explosion goes off, it sounds like a sonic boom. A boom, Langley says, damaged his home, like cracking his garage and damaging frames. So with the help of Ronnie Dodd and his range, we tested it for ourselves. <laughs> Langley said there's no place for Tannerite in his crowded neighborhood in Saudi Daisy. Dodd disagrees, saying it's perfectly safe. But as far as being in a neighborhood, noisy, yes, sir. But as far as damaging anything, unless it was sitting right next to a structure and probably five or ten pounds of this, no, it's not going to do any kind of damage. Ronnie Dodd shot a half pound of Tannerite from about 25 yards away. This right here that you can see is all that was remaining. Live tonight in Sale Creek, Sam Luther, News Channel 9. Thank you, Sam. The Langley spoke to the Hamilton County Commission yesterday about their concerns. Here is the sheriff's take. It is powerful. It is dangerous. It is legal. We have traced uh, the law. Uh, the AG made an opinion back in 2015 that it was something that could be sold. It is sold in this county. Uh, it would take a legislative change to reverse or deal with that. Sheriff Jim Hammond encouraged commissioners to speak to state lawmakers if they wanted to do something about this issue.